This is pure unfiltered beeswax. This is what I use and it smells so good. I want to smell it, but I don't really want to smell it while I'm on camera, but it smells really good. And uh, this is the substance, this is the stuff that the bees produce for us so that I can melt it down and paint it by hand in layers on each one of these items of clothing. How much wax do you think goes into a batik? Like, what do you think? Now, I've averaged it out, and we're looking at half a pound, at least, per batik of pure beeswax. That's from nature. Thank you, bees, uh, producing this. It's all I use. I don't use paraffin or any petroleum waxes, soy wax. I, I wouldn't even attempt to try to because of the rigorous process that this has to go through. So it's pure beeswax all the way. It's the most traditional, like ancient method of doing this. And I love it. So this is what, this is what goes onto here to create this effect. This is, um, this is the Tree of Life forest green hoodie for men, or unisex really actually, and it's, this is an XL, it's one of the few I actually have in stock. And yes, it did take several hours to make at least, because it's not just one sitting that this can be done in. And um, anyway, it's cool, I like it. All right. This dress is amazing. I love this dress. It's so, I just don't know if the photographs are really getting it. Like, it's almost like a neon le lemon. I don't even know if the camera's getting it. And then a sky blue, totally modeled texture, color, whatever. It's this really pretty pink and periwinkle. And the back, all the way down. The stars are placed oh so carefully so as to continue to flatter the figure. So um, that's what's going on here. Organic cotton, totally machine wash and dry. It's already been washed and dried like a lot. So this thing can endure. It's going to be around a while. That's another thing too, is that it la this stuff lasts. I've had people come back after they bought something at some crazy show or festival and like the the batik is still intact but the cotton, the shirt, the fibers of the shirt are like <laughs> some of you know what I'm talking about because you've had yours for so long but so I know what I'm doing. Um, I have only two new dresses. They're so nice. Okay. I haven't even, I have, we, we just did a photo shoot of them last, this week, and I actually tried, no, not one of these, but a different one on, and they fit me, cute. So I'm a size eight, pretty much. My model's a size four, and so you, there's a range. I actually had, I w I'm gonna put a video of me in the size small on YouTube. I don't know if I'll put it on Facebook, but I might just put it in the product listings for the dresses so that you can see what um, this, what a small looks like on a size 8. And also the pictures of her. And it, it, it's just great fabric because it stretches, but it's not clingy. And I wore a dress similar to the last festival I did all day long. It was awesome it's with sandals. It's and then when it's cooler, you can put the jacket over it. Anyway, this is freaking fantastic. Do you love it? Because I do. <laughs> Whatever. I'm weird. I'm not gonna apologize for it because I mean, it takes this kind of personality to create this stuff. Do yeah. you love it? The swirls. The swirls are pure, they're complete magic. They're just complete magic. And I know because once you attempt to do a batik with the new tutorials that I'm going to provide, 
you will know <laughs> what it takes to make a swirl like that. So I am looking forward to that. And if you can do it, awesome, you know, more power to you. Like, have, I mean, fatigue everything, everything that you can. It's not all fabric is good for it, so. Oh yeah, and check this out. Look, like where does this stuff come from? I don't know, I don't even know. I just make it, I just sit there and just boom. It just happens. Looks so good on the model. Just the back, like when she was walking, I'm like, that's what we're doing here. So, freaking cool. Whoever gets this dress, you're lucky. You know, kind of fun. So she wore it with the front down, like this, which is freaking divine. So pardon my swearing, but it's kind of fun. Anyway, she wore it down the front, like this. And, okay, there's a step here, but... Anyway, it's so pretty with a little star. And then this was on the back, but I could wear this. I mean, you know, it depends on someone's personality and body type and just the coloring. And I just got poked in the face by the hanger. You know, but you could wear this in the front and then this in the back. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, I love it. I love it. Wait. Those who have a boutique will really understand and appreciate what they're wearing. And you don't have to be delicate with it either. So I, that's, I love that part. Okay, guys. I think that wraps it up. And, um, oh no, I do. I have, I have something extra to show you. Maybe I'll make a new, a new video. Okay, yes. That, that wraps up this side. And... I will see you online. Oh, and if you, don't forget to sign up for the e-letter if you want. I mean, I'm not, believe me, I don't bombard people with e-letters, e like, at all. I try to get up to a month. So, come on and join the party that way. And what else? I guess, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon.